Okay. Well, not seeing fireworks again. As I said, with this one here, the, uh, the fly traps are still growing in this one. It's the only one, this formulation, which is basically what this is developed into, is the only one. So I can see why hey, those stories about the um, p pirates and things like that in the Caribbean and everything, you know, pulling into these pockets in areas to get the uh, water in their barrels that doesn't go off for months. I can now I can understand why that works now. You know, this one. I can't even, oh jeez, I can't even see anything. Okay, Sean, in future, send out fewer packets of seed to people. Just send a single packet to someone of a particular line with a good pinch of seed in. Don't send 24 packets of a few seed. Send one packet with a good pinch of seed to one person and do that and, and send a different thing to each person and they can grow them and then they can swap between them sort of thing and back to you and, and to other seed banks and I can't even... Did I open the wrong end again? Oh, did I wrote... <sighs> see, if you have a good pinch of seed, you don't have that because you can actually see where it is. Well, I can see something in there. What, two seed? I can't see. Oh, this is this is madness. Oh, it's absolute madness. I'm going to have to show you how I do my packets of seed. This is absolute... Well, I was seed bank officer for the thing. I mean, if I... Well, maybe I did get the wrong end. Is this the end? Maybe it hasn't blown away in the time I went to get those jars. I can't see anything in there either. Oh, well, maybe struck out with number number eight. I can't see. Oh, one seed? One seed? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, whatever. It'll just turn out to be a bloody thing of glid or whatever. Yeah, I can't see anything. Okay, two out of three ain't bad, is that the rule? Uh, okay. Sorry, Sean. But, you know, maybe it's the lack of vitamin D in the summer when we're getting to the middle of the uh, southern wet or something. But, uh, yeah, I'm, quite, I'm pretty impressed with that because the um, it's kept down the disease in that one. And I, I can see the connection now with the bloody barrels of potable water that they used to collect as pirates or something along there. And they used to stay, used to stay fresh for months months longer than normal and they couldn't could never work out why but I think I've got a an idea a theory of why it stays potable for such a long length of time but there we go even with a pot like here maybe I can do that with it see there you go Gideon that's what you want something like that so you have a connection with your um you know the connection with the outside world sort of thing but uh, yeah so was that last one in the sun or I'm getting a silhouette or something uh, maybe I need to that's better is that what you uh, yeah anyway there you go and the weather's coming in and I'm just going to uh, pop these up I just think I think I'll just take some of these over to uh, wherever they are so uh, number 13 yeah, we'll do the Who's Afraid of Number 13? Bark's two-part invention number 13. It is the best. Well, that's my opinion anyway, but and I'm sticking to it. Now, <laughs> maybe put it on the front to get the most light or something. Well, we are dealing with glids and petiolaris, I suppose. Oh, sorry, was I not doing it properly? Okay, because oh, I am on wide angle. Okay, well, that's that first one. I'll bring the other ones over and uh, start a new clip, I suppose. There's the other ones there. As you can see, okay, over and out for now.